you know, today you have, you know, we're living in different, you know, people are watching all over the world. You accept Islam. And when you accept Islam, you have to make certain changes in your life. Whether you accept Islam, meaning you took Shahada, you used to be Christian, Jewish, Hindu, agnost, atheist, whatever you, Buddhist, whatever you used to be, you became Muslim, there are going to be some changes in your life. Or you were Muslim, but you were asleep, and then Allah woke you up. And then the Islam inside you woke up. There are going to be certain changes in your life. The, the, those changes are going to be very visible to your family and friends. You're going to sit in different company now. You're not going to enjoy the same old parties that you used to, because you see certain things are not permissible in those parties. You're going to notice that the way you used to make money is not very good, so you're going to lose some business. You might even have to quit your job as a result. There were some associations, friends, you know, affiliations you used to enjoy, and they were a regular part of your life, and you've cut yourself out of those associations, because those things led to bad, bad to worse to worse to worse. So you're going to become more and more and more isolated when you turn, when you take your religion seriously at first, because there are certain things your religion doesn't allow you to do. And the people around you have no problem with it. So they'll notice that you've become weird. You've become isolated. You've become cut off. And they're gonna call you a fool. And when you try to give them da'wah, or you try to say, hey, you should listen to this. Hey, why don't you come to the masjid with me? They're gonna say, no, you want me to be like you? Is that, is that what you want? You want me to be, be turned into a weirdo extremist like yourself? No thanks. You're gonna hear these words from your cousins, your siblings, your family members, your friends. Those are the people that are gonna think you're strange. You're an idiot for doing what you're doing. You're, you're way too extreme, man. Just relax. Take a balanced approach like me. Gulp, gulp, gulp. You know? <laughs> you know? So this, this problem still exists. It still exists. Anu'minu kama amana sufaha. Allah turns around and says, Ala, inna hum humu sufaha. You had better realize. You see Allah again? Yani intabihu, pay attention. You better realize, you better not forget. Those people, they and only they, like no other, are the ultimate idiots. They are the ultimate fools. In what sense are those people fools? Now I told you what they thought of as foolish. They thought of as foolish that you're missing out on life. You made all these sacrifices for what? Jannah is easy man, you don't have to make all these sacrifices. Be a little bit good in Ramadan, catch the 27th or something and you'll be fine. You know? But then on the other side, when Allah calls them fools, He has a different definition of fool, doesn't He? So we have to think about how does Allah mean fool? 